I kind of cut out my hair. If you let me turn to the side, I literally severed a section of my hair. Don't trust me with the scissors and your hair because I can't even trust myself. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Johanna. Um, if this is the first video you're seeing with me since you've subscribed, I want to say thanks for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And happy new year to everyone. It's a new year. And if you're watching this, if you're seeing me, give thanks. A lot of people didn't make it to 2017, including my stepmom. She was like, you know, so dear to all of us and she died old years morning, December 31st. So um, it's now a sad time. Yes, I'm smiling in the video and I'm making a recording and so forth, but it's now a sad time in our family. Um, keep our family in your prayers, especially my dad, since he and her were really close. But enough of all that sad stuff. First favorite that I want to start with is this um, foundation by Jordana. Now, I've been looking for concealers and foundations that are affordable. I'm not in that stage of my life um, right now or just yet where I could afford like a MAC or anything like that. This is um, in the shade mahogany 12 and it says maximum coverage of recently i just started understanding like makeup shade and what really should or would fit your shade and i discovered a few months ago that i have like a red undertone meaning i have a lot of red or orange in my skin now initially when i apply this it looks really orange and i was scared at first but when it started oxidizing and if you don't know what oxidization is it's when basically air or oxygen touches something <laughs> so because the makeup is in open air now after having applied it to your face it's now oxidizing and it gives you its true color it may not match your skin but if your skin's undertone matches the color that it oxidizes into you will find your true match um ever since i've been wearing makeup i would say that this is the closest that i've come to finding my true match in a foundation um if you look at like previous videos my skin would look kind of ashy my skin is not looking ashy anymore because this has a lot of red slash orange in it like it looks red now or reddish in it now but like when i apply it to my skin it's like kind of really orange like it kind of looks like it's not gonna match my skin tone and then after it oxidizes it just blends in really nicely with my skin so first favorite by the way all the things that I list or that I talk about in the video I leave um, everything the name of everything in the description box down below all right so on to more makeup I got makeup brushes my girlfriend we were in the store shopping and she was like I, I should buy you guys something for Christmas and I chose these because prior to having these I was applying my makeup with my fingers um, I was applying my concealer and my foundation with my fingers and what I noticed when like the camera light hit your face and you know put on your makeup properly like you use your fingers and stuff <laughs> like you literally see the finger marks or stripes in your face so um i really wanted really i didn't i didn't care for the other brushes because i didn't need them but i really needed oh it's right here the foundation brush i needed a foundation brush and when i looked in the counter they had like individual foundation brushes but then i was like why buy one foundation brush for christmas when someone is offering you to buy something when you could get a whole set it's not expensive it's very inexpensive i don't even think like it comes in this pocket and i was trying to find a name for the thing Ugh. there's no the thing does it just doesn't have a name 
it just says five makeup brushes in pouch um and it says on the go makeup brushes in the pouch i don't know if that's the name i don't know and then it gives you like a thorough description of what each brush is used for i know for sure that this is a powder brush which is very soft i think i bought the set initially for the foundation brush but of all the brushes my favorite brushes is the powder brush it's very soft and it does its job and then there is a foundation brush and then there is this um contour and blending brush these are like for shadows and then there is the crease blender brush and then the angled eye brush which is another favorite for me because i would use it to apply um either foundation or concealer to my brows like on fleek if i find the actual thing online i'll put it in the description box down below and my next favorite would be another um brush this is actually called clean color and it's a powder brush and it's like i i don't like it as a face brush after i've done my makeup i like it as a powder brush before I like do my eyebrows and put on my eye pencil and all that jazz because the brush is so big I bought this actually the brush is so big like it disturbs your eyebrows literally <laughs> so um, I use it to like powder my chest because a lot of times when you do your makeup your chest is like so oily and greasy and just out there so when you put powder on your chest it just goes in harmony with whatever is happening with your face however so um this is my third favorite another favorite would be this um not not vo5 in particular like i don't mind vo5 but the bottle that it came in and the fragrance my son if you have kids and you know all about kids and their hands being very heavy it's like my son he listens a lot of the times like if you tell him to use a little bit he would do it but sometimes he just goes overboard and just wastes like the body wash or the shampoo and i didn't buy this initially for him to conserve but after buying it i realized it's a good way to get him to conserve on shampoo and body wash when he's in the shower so i love it because of the pump you know the pump only sprays out a certain amount at a time and trust me i've had this a while for the first time ever because he can only squirt out like so much at a time and I'm so happy that I bought it so from now on all my shampoos and body washes I have to share with my son and definitely find one with a spout or I'm gonna throw it into a bottle with a spout okay um this is kiwi lime squeeze listen whoo this is nice this is nice the fragrance is just wowing and i use vo5 when things are really dry like when i can't afford to buy like my staple shampoo or conditioner i would buy vo5 just to do like a one wash nothing you know it doesn't damage my hair it doesn't make my hair fall or whatever else it's just a one off you just want to wash your hair real quick and style and go i i use vo5 shampoo and the conditioner but i'm not featuring a conditioner as I'm featuring the bottle because I like how the bottle is. Um, usually every December we spend, we go overboard, we think we need it for this one day and then when the one day is done and January comes, we are broken, broke, broke, we're broke, right? Um, my advice to you is, I know it's hard to say you're not going to spend on a, on a specific thing because it's going to make you look nice and it's gonna it's gonna help you and so forth in what way but is it really a need let us reconsider how we spend especially if we're not rich or whatever we should just live below our means if your means would be a thousand dollars live six or seven hundred dollars instead or three hundred dollars below that one thousand dollars because rainy days do come 
um, you don't want to be a burden to other people you don't want to take loans that you're gonna struggle to pay back you don't want to uh, max out that credit card that could use you that could help you at the grocery store you just don't want to spend unnecessarily and this is 2017 and a lot of people always make resolutions and then they break them as soon as um, January is over but this is not a resolution this is just overall especially if your income isn't sufficient to provide for the lifestyle that you dream of at the time at the time you should just go easy on the spending I just listed four favorites for the entire month of December I mean I thought I would have had more favorites to share with you guys but I don't because I ensure that I only spend or spend on the things that I needed and all the things that I featured in this video were things that I needed and I didn't even buy one of the favorites my girlfriend purchased it for me and honestly if she didn't purchase me the set I would have still been using my fingers to apply my foundation unfortunately anyway if you're on IG follow me I've been getting real creative with my hair um, I kind of cut out my hair if you let me turn to the side I had in like a crochet hairstyle before this one and I literally severed a section of my hair don't come to me to help you take out your weave because I may just jack your hair up like seriously like don't trust me with the scissors and your hair because I can't even trust myself anyway that's all for now um, if this is the first time you're watching my video or if this is the first time you're watching me since you've subscribed to my channel again thanks for subscribing don't leave without subscribing if you haven't subscribed as yet or better at sharing my video it's a new year guys new possibilities and we have life just seize every moment and opportunity that you can love as best as possible forget about hating and I know it's virtually or impossible to like or love everyone but with Jesus and when we're um, trying to be like Jesus or when we strive to be like Jesus who knows we can just love anyone and we can forgive anyone um, people just die out of the blue you know and we can't bring them back we will never be able to bring them back so love as much as you can and smile as much as you can and we all have our share of issues going on but someone always needs us out there instead of us um, moping in our sorrows and our stressful lives and um, we could give much more than what we have to take anyway that's all for now and i'll see you if you're on Patreon, check out my Patreon page and support what I do. Don't leave without subscribing or checking out my other YouTube videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!